This is my dad, Marcus Rogers. Good to see you. Good to see you. I'm uh, Put you in the middle. All right. Thank you. Well, I'm, uh, yeah. I'm leaving Monday to go to the George Bush campaign. That's what I understand. Uh, we're 12 months away from our Republicans, <laughs> which, uh, which isn't any time at all. You know, yeah. I, I was thinking that the other day. That's going to be here for you. No, that's right. That's right. 12. Yeah. You'd excuse us for them. <laughs> He and I should get a picture oh, of these two chairs. Right. Right. And throw it here in the vice president get his chair. Okay. I told Jim, you know, I brought a, a lot of candidates, campaigns in here to have a picture taken in these chairs. And uh, I always wanted one. I appreciate the opportunity. It's been done. Or it's going on. Here again, I appreciate it. And uh, of all the groups that I ever brought in, I think the most interesting one was the American Lifesavers Association. And I found out that you had saved 77 lives. That's right. As a lifeguard? Uh, yes, seven summers as a lifeguard on a river, the Rock River in Illinois. But uh, actually, unofficially, 78. Oh, is that right? Yes, but the it's unofficial because I, after I was out of school and become a sports announcer over in Iowa, I had a vacation, drove over to Summer and I went up to Lowell Park, where the fellow that had used to work at the stand had now become the lifeguard. And when I went down to take a swim, he asked me if I'd mind watching the beach for about 15 minutes. He had to go up to the to the bathhouse, so I said sure. And in those 15 minutes, believe it or not, somebody started it. <laughs> I went in and got up. My father's got a gift from you, uniquely from being Alabama. A, being a sports announcer, uh, this is Alabama's best. This is Bama and the Bear, and the last page is the best page. That's where you made your fine statement about Bear Bryant after he died. And I want you to have this book if you don't already have one. If you do, you'll have two now. Uh, well, tells in there about uh, you met him in 1935 as a sports announcer, and he was playing in the uh, Rose Bowl. Yeah, I couldn't uh, guess the Rose Bowl. Well, well, I, I would you have well, thank you very much. I would be very delighted to have that. Take it upstairs and get into it. Right. With just a couple of souvenirs of okay. your visit. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Thank you for your and service. I appreciate being here, and uh, I hope what I'm doing is uh, going to be the best way to carry on what, what it is you've been doing well, here for the last six years and be for eight years. In any event, here we go. Where's your office going to be? It's going to be just about two blocks from here at 15th and H. I understand it's a, it's a slum, <laughs> but uh, you know how campaign financing is. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Thank okay. you. Today, I want to tell you what my wife of 36 years said. I, she was getting my clothes out last night. I said, now get out the best suit I have. She says it won't make any difference. The president's going to look better than you. So I'll go back and tell her it happened. <laughs> you tell her. We both have the same color suits on. Yeah. We're wearing red ties. Yeah, OK. <laughs> Thanks again, Mr. President. Well, Okay. All right, you bet. We take the value of that. Thank you very much. Thanks a lot, James. Nice. Are you <laughs> mad? Hey, 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 hey. Uh, Why? Come in. Surprise, surprise. Uh, <laughs> we have a few questions. Uh, <laughs> uh, I would like to read to you this citation. In journalism, politics, and government, Larry Speaks has faithfully served the cause of truth and in doing so has served the cause of America. Veteran of the White House press office for nine years under three administrations, conducting some 2,000 daily press briefings during this administration, Larry Speaks has become a familiar sight to all of us. America has come to know him as a man cool under pressure, conscientiously working to get the facts out, a man whom the American people could always count on to tell them the truth. America is more knowledgeable because of Larry Speaks, and therefore I am awarding you the Presidential Citizen. Oh my goodness, <laughs> that's, that's quite a deal. some authority in there that I need. <laughs> I've never been at a loss for words, but I think I've arrived at that point. Uh, 
Well, I can only say to you, Mr. President, you, you've given me a wonderful opportunity and one that I'll never forget. And to all these people standing around here, you know, a, a press secretary is only as strong as his guidance. We've always said that. And these are the people that have provided the information day after day that kind of kept us going out there. They're good friends, and uh, I won't forget them. Surely will. Well, thanks a lot to everybody. According to the media, I'm the only one who hasn't been giving you any information. <laughs> Yeah, they're waiting down there. Uh, for those of you that, uh, that can't tune in on the briefing, the new summary has done three songs that are unbelievably good about relations with the press. Uh, some of them have to be censored, <laughs> but we've got to do them in the briefing room. Great. Right. Thank you, sir. Appreciate it. Hello there. Good to see you. My son Scott. Hi, Scott. Hello. This is my wife, Laura. Hi. Hello. Good to see, see you. I think we need a family picture. Good. Here. How do you want to line it up? Here. Yeah. Sorry. Jeremy, come over here. Scott, you stand by Laura. I'm doing it. Get in close. <laughs> smile, boy. Got a smile. I've had my eyes closed most every time. <laughs> <laughs> Well, we have a few little souvenirs. Oh, okay. Goodness. That was quite a souvenir you gave me this morning. Oh, not <laughs> that's fragile. Uh, oh, okay. Hey, Larry, did it fall off, did it? Huh? No, it no, I didn't wear it in the break room. They would have they taken it away from me. Well, oh, thank you. This is mine. Thank you. I was going to pass it on. And uh, wait a minute. You're the he gets sold. Yes. <laughs> All right. Thanks. Oh, great. Thank you. Well, this is a great pleasure. Well, we appreciate it. You know, how to begin. <laughs> Did you want that in there? No, I, they would have taken it away from me. <laughs> well, I just want you to know how much it's meant to us to be in your administration. It's been well, wonderful. It's been a fabulous job. Well, we did. I've often said, you know, the family puts a lot into this because the long hours and days on the road and you take a lot of criticism that they read about, but they see and do more, and we talk about more than uh, the average family does. It's, it, it benefits us all. Yeah. Sort of been down a road that we never thought we'd get on. <laughs> well, uh, I bet you all. Well, thank you very much. Appreciate everything. What time's your big speech here? One o'clock. I'm going to the press club and tell them. Uh -huh. I'll tell them good. <laughs> uh, well, thanks so much, Mr. President. Thanks a lot. Great. It's been a great pleasure. Okay, thank nice you. Nice to see you. Take care. God bless. Thank you. Okay, dope. We'll see you. Thanks. Come, All right.